He asked people, a restaurant has been stripped of its alcohol licence after an early hours brawl broke out in which people were using bricks, belts and street furniture as weapons and a man was left knocked out cold in the middle of the robe. Misop in Moss Side was hit with a draconian punishment after licensing chief said the venue was open four hours later than it should have been when the fight broke out at five in the morning on Sunday the 3rd of July. The fight involving around 15 men was reported by a CCTV operator and a member of the public who passed in a taxi. The venue, which is located on Princess Road, failed to call the police during the incident, which was said to have begun after a group tried to force entry after being turned away. And neither did the boss, Kidei McConnellan, and the premises license holder respond when officers arrived and knocked on the restaurant shutters in the aftermath of the fight. A town hall panel was told no CCTV evidence from inside the venue has been forthcoming despite repeated police requests. It also emerged the establishment had massively changed its layout to accommodate a hairdresser's salon without alerting the council's licensing department, meaning all alcohol sales since alterations made in 2019 were unlawful. Laura Rain of the Council Legal Services said that while the decision was draconian, it was the only appropriate and proportionate outcome given the circumstances. There is a clear catalogue of evidence of failings by the premises licence holder and the committee had no confidence that the premises licence holder will, will uphold the licensing objective, she said, delivering the panel's decision. The premises licence holder has no regard whatsoever for the conditions of his licence and clearly isn't working in partnership with the police. His evidence throughout these proceedings has been contradictory and very vague. The bar and restaurant had its, prem has its premises license suspended at a summary hearing last month. Mr McConnell then told the councillors that only seven people or staff had been in the restaurant at the time the violence broke out. Natasha Barnes representing Mr McConnell and said that it was a one-off incident and his actions in trying to break up the fight, addressing issues with CCTV and donating bread to the local food bank showed he wanted to better the community and not make it worse. Yes, he has not covered himself in glory. Yes, the fight was atrocious and should not have happened. Yes, it would not have been helped by the fact people were coming and going until five in the morning. But as you have heard, it was not done because he was trying to make profit for himself, but because he is trying to make his restaurant a community hub. Has he learned his lesson? Undoubtedly, yes.